What's up you guys? Welcome back to a brand new series that I'm starting on my channel. This series is called How To Rig It. Now, for today's first episode, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to rig a Senko two different ways. The two, in my way, the, the two best ways how to rig this. Um, there's many different ways, but I'm going to show you guys the two ways that I normally rig it. So here we go. We'll jump into the first one. Okay, and I am going to use a red um, 3 out hook. Normally I wouldn't use red for this colored Senko, but the this is just for video purpose only. So, um, so first you want to have Senko. Um, I would recommend getting Gary Yamamoto's, just because they're a lot more sturdier, and I think they're a lot more flexible. So, yeah, they're just a, they're just a really good Senko. So what you guys want to do is for the first rig is you guys want to um like it's it's called a wacky rig some people call them wacky rig sync well so well this is the wacky rig sync so a lot of people will call them like wacky worms but uh so what you want to do is what i do is so there's a flat there's a flat top and then there is a like pointed top you just put those together right there find my middle of the sanko right here and then I just kind of watch that spot when it opens up and then I just put my hook in right in the middle so that why when you cast this in the water see it's not lopsided you have just enough worm on each side so when that comes up and you let that sink to the bottom and you pop that up and pop up real nice it's just gonna pop 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 because this is gonna these here are gonna just flutter they're gonna flutter up and down like this and you don't want it lopsided like this because otherwise you're not gonna get a good fluttering motion so that is first rig oops <laughs> that is the wacky rigged sanko so now i'm going to teach you guys the texas rig sanko so for the texas rig sanko you want to have the flat part facing upwards, the flat part of the Senko facing up, and you simply just want to take your hook, and you want to put it in through the top, be careful not to, like, you know, cut yourself, and carefully do that, push that in so it's about right there, right before it gets to the arch, stop pushing it in, and then just simply pull out, so that way you have it like this. All right, so then what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull that down just like this and pull that down to until it gets to the top eyelet and then you're gonna like rotate the hook and pull inwards so let me show you guys rotate the hook and pull so that part's kind of hidden now. Now you'll see you have your hook. It's, it's still on the outside. Now this is a weedless. This is going to be weedless. Most people will just poke it. Most people will just end up poking it and having it out like this. But it would still be inside of the Senko. But part of the hook would actually be pointing out. What you should do though is you should find right here. So right there where my fingertip is, right there is where you're going to poke in the Sanko. And then you're just going to pull down. Right? And so that way the hook is buried inside the Sanko. And then it is weedless. Now another thing you can do is this eyelet, after you're done tying it on your line, you can push that eye of that hook in you can push that in and then take like a like 10 or 15 pound um, fluorocarbon cut that nice just a nice little strip poke that through through the hole try to get it as close as you can through the hole and out the other side so that why when the fish takes it you know this part will stay connected 
and you won't lose your whole entire cycle. Another thing I like to do when I do wacky rig, well especially with this color, is this is like a bluegill color right here. It's got like the, the green and the purple color and the actual color of the Senko, um, it's like the bluegill pattern. So at the end, I will dip the end in a little garlic tub. This is the little garlic tub that I use. It is called Spike It Garlic Dip and Glow. Okay, that is what I use. I just simply take the cap off, put the end in there for a couple seconds and pull it out, and then it is dyed yellow. And when that dies onto this colored bait, it makes it seem like it's a bluegill, like a bluegill um the end of their tail. Because when you see a bluegill in, in the water, their tail kind of glows. So what this bait does is it motions a bluegill nosing down. This part right here, if you want to tie on like a um, a drop shot weight on top of it, let me show you guys a drop shot weight here. Okay, so this is the drop shot weight and it has a little hole and you would just tie that on first and then you would tie on your um texas rig and that would just simply sit there so that way when you cast this sinks first and that's gonna follow right to the actual like drop shot weight and so when a bass comes back to its bed it's gonna see that this is nose down in its bed so when you give it that twitch motion it's gonna see the glowing tail moving and so when you give it that twitch it's gonna drag across on its bed and it's gonna think that this is a bluegill and it's gonna come down and try to chase it out or even like bite down on it because sometimes they do that to give them a warning so this represents bluegill feeding out of bed it's a really good tactic to use. It is. It, it works miracles. Okay, so that concludes today's episode and first episode of the new series, How to Rig It. So that will conclude today's episode of How to Rig It again. So, before you guys um, click out of this video, make sure you guys go subscribe, like, turn on your notifications, Go down to the um, comments and comment down that you subscribed, liked, and that you have your notifications on. And I will give you guys a post notification shout out if you guys have your own channel. Make sure you guys do that. That's very important. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.